I thought it was a really great team victory tonight. We went back to our depth and used a lot of guys in a lot of different ways. And a lot of people stepped up in offense and defense. You know, our starters played well. Obviously, g and TJ had big games offensively. But I thought Peter Jerkin affected the game offensively and defensively, you know, uh, in the second half especially. They were switching a lot on us, and they put a guard on him when we switched the ball screen. And so I thought it gave him an opportunity to get some post-ups. Nigel Holly even had got in there and posted up a little bit. You know, we, we switched a little bit how we played in the last few games. We went back to ball screen motion. We've been running motion, but they were switching everything. And early in the game, we, we were too compacted offensively, and they were doing a good job. And then we spread it out and got back in the game. And I thought that really helped us to spread the court, not only just to get driving lanes, but to get the ball inside, too. And we got, we got driving lanes in the basket, we got inside. And so I thought our kids uh, responded in a way that they needed to after coming off of, you know, a pretty disappointing loss, a very disappointing loss at Ashland, really didn't play well. I thought they had a lot of enthusiasm and energy tonight to play. That's the team I really feel like that we have. I mean, honest truth, you guys have been to practice and you've seen them work out. They can play. Talent's not the problem, it, it isn't. It's just getting them to play together and, and play with passion and, and energy and toughness. And so um, we had some good meetings. We got back from, um, Asheville on Wednesday, Tuesday night, we had individual meetings on Wednesday. I met with every player. And I just asked them, what can I do to help? I need to help you. That's my job. And so I thought we had a productive uh, 48 hours before we got to the game.